It is your girl, Miss Yellow Diva, get, coming to you with a another review on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It is episode three, season eight, I think. Whatever. Anyway, the episode begins with her, Mel, and Nell playing pickleball. And Nell seems a little out of breath. She seems like she ain't, you know, she ain't worked that hard in a lot in a long time. And so, um, so they finish and Mel is is she overacting about her giving giving her some water. <laughs> Mel, you know, it ain't even that necessary. And uh, come to think of it, it looked it look like Mel had a BBL. It's a it's a small BBL, you know, but it it's, it looked like a BBL. I think it, her and Tisha had a B, well, Tisha definitely had a BBL, but uh, I think she had a BBL as well. It look it look all right. It, it ain't it don't it ain't bad looking. Um, so um. Nell asked, uh, well, Mel asked Nell, why didn't she come to the podcast? And so she was like, I was in McDonough, Georgia, and um, all of a sudden it was sold out. <laughs> Mel was like, mm-hmm. She said, you couldn't call me. You called me any other time to get get some tickets. You couldn't call me to say, get, say, say, save you some tickets or something like that. And so Nell was like, yeah, you right. I messed up. Mm hmm. So then, uh, Mel, Nell asked Mel, um, uh, what happened when Martell was arrested? And she goes over the story is, you know, she, he sent her a text message, a text message showed some, the, the video, um, or whatever. And some, basically some revenge porn, so uh, she took it to the magistrate, and they took their time to arrest him. But they they finally arrested him at the time it is when they were starting taping. So what it, it is, what it is. And so then uh, Nell Nell asked Mel about the interview with the blogger, and uh, she said, "I Mel was like, I ne I never seen the interview or anything like that." She said, but um, I do believe that the things that he thought was going to come out of that interview backfired on him. And so Nell was like, I was pissed. And apparently she was pissed also at the blogger and at her stepdaughter. Because her, apparently her stepdaughter... Um, uh, had a interview also where she was saying that um, Nell was a side chick. Um, Chris was not divorced when she met him and she was a side chick. Um, but um, Nell said that um, when she met Chris, he um, he was still married. But she didn't know he was still married, and apparently they were separate, separated, and going through a divorce. So Ned was like, "No, I was not a sad chick." And it depends on what what your definitions of a sad chick is. If you feel like you weren't a sad chick, you feel like you wasn't a sad chick. I think that that definition of a sad chick is that you know he was still married, and. You were dating him, so it is. It seemed a little side chickish to me. But if you think that you wasn't a side chick, then you wasn't a side chick. It seemed, it, my opinion, you was a side chick. But he was going getting a divorce, and they were separating and stuff like that. So it depends on what your definition is. It is what it is. And uh, Mel said Kimmy and uh, Tisha didn't come to the podcast either. And she she said she was going to see them later on today. And she was going to discuss it with them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then the next uh, part, uh, Stormy meets up with the new person on the show, the new couple, Trisha. Um, 
Yeah. And so they started talking and they was talking about working out because Stormy has lost a lot of weight. You know, her and Courtney has lost a lot of weight. I think they're doing shots, but whatever the case may be, they still lost weight and they still look good. So however you want to do it, honey, I'm, I'm taking the shots. I just ain't losing no weight. But hey, it is what it is. Um... So then they're talking about working out. Then all of a sudden, Stormy talking about this IVF, the surrogacy, and all that other stuff about how she had IVF when she had uh, her baby. And then now she's going to do a surrogate for a second child and all the other stuff. And I was just like, Stormy, is this, a, this your is this your storyline? I don't want to hear about it. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to hear about you doing surrogacy and you and Courtney talking about surrogacy and, you know, IVF and all the other stuff. I don't want to hear about it. You know, maybe other people like to hear about it. it you know, maybe other people, you know, like that kind of stuff. I don't feel, you know, it ain't for me. That's not my cup of tea. That's not, that's not my ministry. Anyway. So, uh, just, oh, so, uh, Trisha said she, she was, uh, she saw Destiny and Tisha in the gym and Tisha wanted her to be her, her trainer or whatever, but she said she didn't text her back because she didn't know, you know, you know, what, how, how Tisha was since Stormy and her was on wasn't on good terms. And Stormy said our friendship was destroyed by Marceau. She said, um she said, yeah, she said, I, I, I did call him a bitch and, you know, and but she said I still I still feel feel like he a bitch. But and she said also she said Marceau destroys all Tisha's friendships. She destroyed, he destroyed their friendship. She, she, he destroyed Marceau, no, uh, Tisha and Mel, Melody's friendship. So, and so she was like, if you, if you get along with, uh, Marceau, then you can probably get along with Tisha. What is, what is, what it is. So, um, so Stormy and Courtney going to look for a new car, old car. Okay. It's a new car, but it's an old model car. And, uh, and they had all kinds of like, you know, um, what them things called them Delta 88s or what <laughs> rocket. I don't know what them things called. <laughs> them, them long Oldsmobiles and. Things like that, Cadillacs, you know. So he looking for a car that he want to redo and all that other stuff. And Stormy was like, you know, these ain't sexy cars and all the other stuff. And then they start talking about surrogacy and all the other stuff. And I was just like, <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> what it what would it, what it would look like. So then they flash to um uh the new couple. Um her name is Latricia Lee and his name is Kenneth Lee. She from Huntsville. Um Kenneth is from Dayton, Ohio. Yes, Ohio, another Ohioan. Um and they they gym junkies basically. And he looked like he was he a gym junkie. She don't, but he looked like <laughs> he spent much time in the gym. <laughs> much time. Um, so La Latricia has two kids, a son, 18, and a daughter, 10, from the previous relationship. And Ken says he has a 13-year-old daughter who is not a biological daughter, but he considers her, her his daughter. I understand that. If you raised her, then she's your daughter. Because I have a niece that I have raised. And she is she is my my daughter. Mm -hmm. I got a son and a daughter. 
21 year old daughter and a, a 16 year old son um and he just texts me anyway so trisha is going to train is going to train tisha it's <laughs> too many issues in there um and Kim said, Kim, Ken said he likes Marceau. He said he think he funny. Mm. So Ken says, he, Trisha reminds him of his, his mom. And Trisha said, Ken reminds her of her, her dad in that precious. Anyway, Melody, Kimmy, and Tisha meet up at some kind of plant store. They, and they making plants. Um, uh, potting plants or whatever they doing something with some dirt so Tisha said you know her and her family uh, went to uh, her family went to South Africa so uh, what's her name didn't leave, her, leave them this year Marceau didn't leave them behind this year Kimmy said she, more, her, him or her and Maurice didn't go on a vacation this year because her mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in November and she's in remission but you know you know that that's terrible because you know Kimmy just got over breast cancer and now her mom is diagnosed with breast cancer that's that's something else I, I, I pray for uh, Kimmy and her family anyway so Kimmy said they're doing real estate and they have like one they have like like eight they had some office space and they had like eight units and they're they're down to the last one and they said they're saving it for um Tisha and then Mel was like uh she don't need no you no uh office space uh she uh Mel said the last time we talked um you were trying to go back to being home be a stay at home mom and so then Tisha was like, um, yeah, I did. I, you know, but you know, um, uh, what's her name? School. I don't know what the, the child's name. School is taking up a lot of time, but then, you know, work take up a lot of time. She basically need to find some work life balance. Either you're going to be a stay at home mom or you're going to, you're going to work and be in the workforce. It's either, it's, it, it's, you know, you know. You did it for a little bit, and maybe you need to go back to it. It's fine. You could do it. Marceau is the breadwinner. You could do it. You know. Um. Of course, Tisha asked Mel about Martel, Mar, um, Martel being arrested. She go over the story again. <laughs> and, um... Uh, they, they, no, but before she goes on into the story, she said, well, didn't you ask your husband, Marceau? <laughs> she said, because he he made a statement. And and she was like, <laughs> and, uh, but when she is, exp she explains what happened, you know, uh, what's her name? Kimmy says she understood, you know, what, what, why she did what she did. And then Mel puts uh, everybody on blast to say, um, oh, no, Mel put Tisha on blast and say, um, well, how come you didn't call me? And so, um, you know, so Tisha, you know, uh, backpedaling and pussy popping. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. And basically, she she basically was just like, I mean, I I don't know why I didn't do because she she could come up no with no good answer, you know you with that no, no, and so then um, Kimmy said I I called you no she said no Kim Kimmy Mel said well you text me and he and she said yeah I called you too, and she said and my text said your mailbox was full. <laughs> That's why I texted you. And I said, oh, okay, Kimmy. <laughs> okay, Kimmy. So then Tisha apologizes, you know. 
And then at, she asked why why didn't they come to the podcast? And then Tisha, you know, said that in a, your la your last event, I was I was walked out, you know, by security. And that was like what season one, season two, girl, you win season eight, girl, please. Anyway, I was escorted out. So if I don't get an invite, because she said she didn't get an invite, and she was like, you, she said it was a public event, you know, you didn't need an invite. And she was like, if I don't get no invite, then I'm not coming. Whatever. Keisha, uh, Kimmy said she didn't come because, you know, her fans that support her are cruel to them. So they still talking about these millimeters, honey. These millimeters can't, can't catch a break, okay? <laughs> these millimeters. <laughs> Marceau said they deplorable. They are foolish people who making uh, Melanie rich for buying some T-shirts. Um, Tisha said they old middle middle aged women who don't have nothing going on for themselves. Boy, them poor millimeters, huh? <laughs> and then. Uh, Sonny said, she said, um, and then Kim, Kimmy said, Sonny said that, that the, uh, energy was negative. And so Mel said the energy was negative towards her. It wasn't negative. It wasn't negative towards the event. The, uh, she said they were, they were negative or negative, negative towards her. Because they feel like she she uh she stole uh Destiny Man, basically. And so and then um and and they and uh Kimmy said, yeah, because, you know, it's you know, it's, it's um she she broke go the girl code. And then Mel started laughing, talking about what girl code? Um uh, uh Kimmy said <laughs> Uh, Mel said, Destiny don't know nothing about no girl code. And so, Kimmy was like, well, yeah, but you know what? Why are you so mad? She ain't sleep with your man. She was, and then Mel was like, I don't know what she did. I don't know what. <laughs> Woo, boy. <laughs> I don't know what she did. She it was, and Mel was like, you know, Destiny was my friend. But basically, she don't know what she did and what she didn't do. So, and she don't know nothing about no girl code. But that's where the, it, the episode ended, okay? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Um, Get down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, and I'll catch y'all next week. Peace. <laughs>